Hey everyone, welcome back to another EXO's Heroes video. Today's video, we're going to take a look at the new update, the new FC Donk, and actually we'll be starting with a video from EXO's Heroes. So we're having a new intro video or a teaser video or what do you call this video um, about the EXO's he Heroes Twisted Fate 2. Let's take a look at the trailer, guys. I don't know if you guys have seen this already. Um, this is actually my first um, take at this. I haven't seen this yet. Um, Nero. Nero's gonna get his FC. <laughs> finally. Finally, finally. He's going to get his Fate Core. And this girl, Zarian, is finally going to get her Fate Core again. The cowboy girl. The cowgirl something. And... Actually, John Dog's uh, FC is going is has dropped today. I'm gonna you know review his kit in a while. So let's try to finish this one. Journey. Okay, guys. So we're here again. Um, let's take a look at the updates. So we have a couple of updates. Neat ornament drop event. Okay, obtain October 13th to 26th. So we have um, rewards for this event. As you can see here, um, neat ornament. There are recipes here. Exchange reward. We'll try to check this out in the game in a while. Then we have hero battle and update. We have read Marie here for those who don't have read Marie yet. Then we have a new red fate core. So a lot of you guys have been have been clamoring for um, FC carries red fate core. Now that you have her gold fate core. And she's complete. <laughs> so this event, I'm actually going to be um, doing as well. Then we have Fall Season Celebration Free re Premium Recruit Total 77 times. So my luck for this one is, you know, hasn't been good for the past pulls that I've had for the free pulls. But hopefully I could turn my luck around. Then we have a new one. Free equipment exchange cost event. Then we also have for those who have uh, who wants to purchase from the shop. Then October package is released, and the last one is going to be. So there's a quiz as well, and memorial saga. There is actually a director's note for this one. So this just dropped. I didn't see this actually. Let's take a look at the director's note. So, Director's Note, New Memorial Saga, and Convenience Improvement Update. So, before we review uh, John Dong, so let's go through the um, Director's Note. From this Director's Note, we'll be updating you about the New Memorial Saga Update and Convenience Improvement Updates. And um, the next one for Memorial Saga, definitely Rudley. So, second Memorial Story. So, this, for those who are a fan of the story, this is going to be your content. Um, so, I have it. Uh, honestly, I haven't played the Memorial Saga uh, yet. So, Court Raid, the the Great Bra uh, the Great Brun reboot. So, what else in this director's note? So, you have Core Raid Select Difficulty Function, a function where you can choose the difficulty for each Core Raid dungeon will be added, which is actually nice. Then let's just skip the director's intentions. Contents promotion pop up. So a content promotion pop up to inform you of Exosier's content and events updates will be added as well. So there's a shortcut function and a deactivate uh, pop up function in the settings as well. Signature force and new signature force enhancement stage will be open. From this update, the stages um, three fourth enhancement of the number signature will be opened. So today, um, Greenland has been has ha, have already has had um, its um, new stages for Signature Force. Next is going to be Linombe. Golem Ancient Totem Event. Okay. Also dropping soon. Next Eternal Bond, guys, will be Janai and Schmidt. So both I have already have in full. So I'm not sure who I'm going to get. Probably going to be Janai because I'm sure um, her Signature Force will, you know, will open up soon again. Um, Schmidt is also good because um, there are a lot of players actually using Schmidt as well. Convenience improvements, World SD Bone Dragon 
improvement you have you probably have all come across the sd bone dragon when you were roaming around the world for now the the bone dragon's breath will be exchanged so that it is no longer misunderstood for being an unwelcome guest okay here's what was control the brain again speed and movement okay closing comments so this is just a short director's note about you know incoming content for exos heroes i'm just gonna read through the closing comments regarding the current state of development from our last director's note we have talked to you about the changes of directions to the plans of exos heroes currently the exos heroes development team is preparing for new fun and pre and for previous users and we organizations in the game so that it is easier for new and returning players to play the game in this process we are trying our best to apply the suggestions that you are, are all sending to us as there are some agendas that are not finalized we are not at the stage where we can tell you specific details regarding season 5 update however we will try to deliver our deliver our detailed plans once ready through the director's note as soon as we can we are we are aware of the words that you and we are very sorry to those who are leaving us due to these big differences however our main plan is to pro provide you with a game that you can you that can give you a long lasting fun experience that we believe that there are immediate matters that are required to do so therefore please show my many love and support towards season five okay so regarding the recently occurred issues, so after the September big update, we noticed that the glitches issues within the game have largely improved. Okay, however, increase regarding the game crashes and device overheating have increased. First of all, we apologize for the inconvenience and stress caused due to the unstable gameplay environment. You should have had more fun playing this game. For this, we plan to improve such emergency issues regarding stability through separate updates other than the monthly big update secondly the unsatisfactory game operation and reward error recently there have been relatively many issues occurring there are a lot of issues within the game also the these are issues mainly once again they're apologizing about these issues and i hope they they take action on this because again seven Jr. is still unplayable and a lot of things are wrong in this game so far um players are leaving because of the satisfaction on the game on on overheating phones on content there are a lot of issues with this game but again but if they just fix their issues and they you know they eventually you know um tidy up everything i think everything you know every mistake will be forgotten and forgiven so I just hope that they fix everything. Again, put out good content as usual. That is actually my take on it as usual. Um, content is where they are lacking at the moment. So again, this is the director's note that dropped today. Um, earlier was the update yesterday. And now I'm going to bring you to the, uh, what do you call this? The review of FC John Donk. Okay, guys, so we are here with uh, FC John Donk, the new uh, Fate Core that just dropped today. Let's take a look at his passive. I've heard a couple of good things uh, from him. So, as usual, he has his basic passive, which is Thrust 3. Deals basic damage to attacker upon taking damage as well. So, he's a defensive type of passive. Okay, this is, I think, similar to Shifraken as well. Then we have here his first um, passive, which is Triumph. Um, is a it's a buff that is applied on self grants a buff to all allies that increases attack of the target by 15% and resets own turn upon gaining five stacks of the buff so the stack is going to be maxed at five so five times 15 is going to be plus 75% attack total then the turn resets which is nice okay next is going to be fish in water so special grants shared health to an ally with the highest attack Ooh, this is going to be good. He is going to be full of buffs. Uh, highest attack in the back row, excluding self for four turns, and increases target's attack by 30% of own defense, which is actually pretty nice. Um, um, I'm hearing Lenombe for this one. <laughs> the, he is going to be good with Lenombe. Next is going to bra be Bravery of the Wealthy. So special grants a barrier equal to own defense to all back row allies at, start, at the start of the battle. Which is again a good buff for him to give 
they'll go to his um his s uh what they call this s1 so increase his own defense by 72 percent for eight turns grants reflect damage to self for seven turns if own defense is the highest among allies okay this is nice so and then provokes all back row enemies for seven turns again he is a defensive hero with offensive buffs kind of nice <laughs> I, again uh, Lenombe is actually ringing in my ears it, the, the, he's going to be good for Lenombe deals to 55 damage to all enemies and deals damage equal to 200% of own defense to enemy with bramble mark so this is the one that I was looking for the synergy with carry so if the enemy has a bramble mark courtesy of carry then he can deal 200% of own damage but again with his kit he can actually stand alone he doesn't need carry actually um except for his s2 but again the others the the passive the passive that he has um s1 and s2 he can be standalone and he has a great kit so let's take a look at um how many uh what do you call this how many do we need for the what do you call this the pity system for him so it's going to be 28 okay it's not 19 um the update yesterday stated what it was 19 but uh i can formally tell you guys that it's 28 um my thoughts on john donk is that i think he is a good pull if you are into especially if you have fc carry built up already john donk is actually a good um you know a, a good compliment to her but without fc carry sh he can actually be very good um i'm looking at um Lenombe for him i'm also looking at he can also be with stories as well now that i realized it <laughs> he can actually complement the stories as well and um yeah he's a good defensive hero with attack buffs and also defensive buffs so what can you you know what can you ask from from john dong but again he is actually worth your summons okay so if you haven't summoned for him um and if you plan to please do because again i'm recommending him if you really really want to pull for the for the fate core be my guest guys he is going to be a good no no good hero to have moving forward okay guys so that is it for my review director's note and the update so row all rolled into one um for those who have stuck this far in this video please um consider subscribing um this helps uh, my channel a lot guys and please don't forget to click that bell icon so that you don't miss any exos heroes videos and also guys put a like to this video if you think this video is very informative thank you very much take care this is the warden and i'm out of here.